Mumbet, also known as Elizabeth Freeman, was the first Massachusetts slave to sue for her freedom and actually win, arguing for her freedom based on the constitutional right to liberty given to all people. But what exactly set Mumbet onto her path to sue for freedom? One day, Mumbet's mistress tried to hit her sister with a heated kitchen shovel, but Mum intervened and was hit instead. After this, Mum left the house and refused to return. When her master, Colonel Ashley, appealed for her return, she called lawyer Theodore Sedgwick, an anti-slavery advocate, and asked for his help. When serving her owners, she would pay close attention to their discussions of politics in the state constitution. Thanks to what she overheard, she drew the conclusion that if freedom and equality applied to everybody, then it did to her as well. Sedgwick took her case and joined with another of Colonel Ashley's slaves that was named Brom. The case of Brom and Bett versus Ashley was brought before a county court, and the jury ruled in favor of Brom and Bett. They became the first enslaved African Americans to be freed under the Massachusetts Constitution, and Ashley was ordered to pay them 30 shillings and costs. This case also served as a foundation for the abolition of slavery in Massachusetts. Following the court's ruling, Colonel Ashley begged Mum to come work for wages, but Bett refused and went to work with the Sedgwicks as a housekeeper. Mum Bett worked as a midwife in Stockbridge until the age of 85, when on December 28th of 1829, she died. Mum Bet's graves in Stockbridge where her tombstone reads, She was born a slave and remained a slave for nearly 30 years. She could neither read nor write, yet in her own sphere she had no superior nor equal. She neither wasted time nor property. She never violated a trust nor failed to perform a duty. In every situation of domestic trial, she was the most efficient helper and the tenderest friend. Good mother, farewell.